Discovery of Electron Part 1 In 1830, Michael Faraday showed that if electricity is passed through a solution of an electrolyte, chemical reactions occurred at the electrodes which resulted in the liberation and deposition of matter at the electrodes. He formulated certain laws which you will study in class 12. These results suggested the particulate nature of electricity. An insight into the structure of atom was obtained from the experiments on electrical discharge through gases. Before we discuss these results, we need to keep in mind a basic rule regarding the behavior of charged particles. Like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. In mid-1850s, many scientists, mainly Faraday, began to study electrical discharge in partially evacuated tubes known as cathode ray discharge tubes. A cathode ray tube is made of glass containing two thin pieces of metal called electrodes sealed in it. The electrical discharge through the gases could be observed only at very low pressures and at very high voltages. The pressure of different gases could be adjusted by evacuation. When sufficiently high voltage is applied across the electrodes, current starts flowing through a stream of particles moving in the tube from the negative electrode or cathode to the positive electrode or anode. These were called cathode rays or cathode ray particles. The flow of current from cathode to anode was further checked by making a hole in the anode and coating the tube behind anode with phosphorescent material zinc sulfide. When these rays, after passing through anode, strike the zinc sulfide coating, a bright spot on the coating is developed. The same thing happens in a television set.